If you've ever wondered how does marketing work on eBay and how do big time eBay sellers do their marketing in a way that they're able to make large amounts of money, that's what I'm gonna be showing you in today's video. Let's go. What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam and what I do here is break down various different tips and tricks to help you guys make money online. But in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is going through exactly how marketing works on eBay. If you're a beginner that's looking to get started on eBay this year, you're definitely gonna get value out of this video because I'm gonna be explaining exactly what I had to learn many years ago that has enabled me to make over seven figures from my eBay stores. Make sure you watch this whole video from start to finish so that you don't miss any bit of information that's gonna help you guys make money on eBay this year. As always, I don't want to waste any more time so let's get right into the video all right so first and foremost what exactly is marketing most people that believe that they understand how business works don't even understand the basic concept of what marketing is now when it comes to a business i believe that there's different elements of a business for example we've got the product we've got accounting and finance we've got marketing we've got sales there's so many different elements that truly make up what a business is and you need to have a firm understanding of each different element but in today's video i'm just going to be explaining what marketing is and how it affects ebay businesses so to me the definition of marketing is the process of getting the core message of how your product or service will benefit your potential customer across in the best possible way. So simply put, marketing is basically where you're going to be explaining exactly how your product, your service, your company is going to help any customer on eBay. So any customer that comes across your eBay store, you need to get across the message in the best possible way so that you're able to get them as a long-term customer. So in my opinion, marketing all starts off with the niche that you pick and the products that you want to sell. So you need to make sure that you pick a specific niche and you focus on selling products within that niche. And when you do decide on what niche you want to sell, one of the most important parts of branding and marketing your store in the best way is picking the right name. What I like to do when it comes to branding my eBay stores is to make sure that whatever company name or store name I use with my eBay store relates to the product that I'm going to be selling in some way. So I try to make sure that I secure that eBay store name as soon as possible. And one pro tip for anyone out there that's looking to start an eBay business this year, it's always good to make sure that whatever store name you pick for your eBay store is also available as a domain. And if you're not sure what a domain is, a domain is simply www. followed by whatever domain you pick. So even though you don't have any plans of building your website straight away, it's always good to make sure that the domain name is available before you even start using that store name on eBay. So for example, if I'm searching for a store name to use on eBay and it's available, but I check to see if that store name is available as a domain and it's not, I wouldn't use that store name. I like to make sure that it's available on both. Like for example, what I do is that I come into GoDaddy just like this and then let's say for example I'm trying to start a baby store that sells baby products on eBay so for example I might want to pick a store name baby superstore just like this so what I'll do is that I'll come to GoDaddy see if the store name is available search domain and then as you guys can see it says baby superstore is taken so I always try to make sure that whatever name I pick for my eBay store is also available as a domain so that I can buy it straight away that's one pro tip that I want to give you guys that's looking to get started on eBay this year so the next core element of eBay marketing after you've decided on what products to sell you've decided on what store name you're going to pick you've decided on the particular niche you now need to figure out how you're going to design your store and not only that you also need to know exactly what to put in your ebay listing now the main way that you're going to be able to communicate with your potential buyers is from the ebay listing so you need to make sure that within your ebay listing you've got a balance between advertising the product in the best possible way as well as advertising your company in the best possible way and the reason for this is because you're not only advertising and marketing the product you're also advertising your company too you need to make sure that within the list in, you're giving the customer a reason why they should pick you over someone else so i'm going to use this company as an example let's stick with the baby niche for now so there's this company on ebay called mother and baby so straight away from the name of their store i'm sure that you can guess what they sell this is exactly what i'm talking about when it comes to picking the best name for your store straight away anyone that comes across this particular ebay store knows exactly what this company sells we can see that they've got a logo right there as well and even in the summary of their store right here it says mother and baby we are based in the uk and started in 2007 we sell quality baby products at competitive prices excellent service etc etc so they're letting any potential person that comes across their storefront know that they are focused on selling baby products and that's exactly what you guys need to do make sure that you let the customer know at every point what products you're focused on selling so if we just quickly click onto their shop right there by clicking visit shop we can see that they've put their logo at the top right here mother and baby we can see that they've been able to sell over 101,000 different items and they've got 1.5 
1.5k followers. So one quick tip when it comes to branding your store and marketing your store in the best possible way, make sure that you use a really good logo and make sure that you have a really good storefront just like this so that anyone that clicks on it, they see your logo, they see your banner and they're more enticed to want to buy from you rather than someone else. So if we just click on any one of the items, so let's click on this one right here. All right, so the listing actually starts from this point right here. So we can see straight away at the top, they've got these icons that say free shipping to mainland UK, money back guarantee, hassle free returns, same day dispatch, next day delivery available. And they've got a small little icon here of the Union Jack. So straight away, you guys can see what I mean when I say advertise the product, but also advertise your company too. Anyone that clicks on this that's from the UK is gonna be more inclined to want to buy from them because they offer free shipping. They're letting any potential customer know that straight away when anyone scrolls through their store they're going to be able to see free shipping to the uk money back guarantee same day delivery they're giving all of their potential customers all the reasons to want to buy from them rather than someone else because the customer is going to have to scroll from top to bottom so they're going to see this part straight away scrolling down we can see that they've actually advertised the actual product and they've done it in a way that is very easy to read too they've got the image right there in the middle and they've got all of these different headings right here that breaks down exactly what the benefits of this particular product is scrolling down they've got the features they've got the description and again they've got more information about their company in terms of the shipping the returns you know when you can contact them this is how you guys need to structure your ebay listings you need to make it as professional as possible give the customer as much information as possible of course you don't want to overwhelm them with information but you need to make sure that you're giving them the key bits of information they need and if we just think back to what my definition of marketing is which is the process of getting the core message of how your product or service will benefit your potential customers across in the best possible way this company is doing just that and i want to use this company as an example just so that you guys know what to do as soon as you click off this video try and use a custom listing template that makes your listing look as good as possible very organized try and make sure that you've got a custom designed logo that breaks down exactly what your company is try and make sure that you use a nice clean image of the product within the actual listing itself and try and make sure that you give all the details in terms of the features and the description of the product and any information about the shipping returns and how they can contact you within the actual listing when it comes to doing marketing on ebay it's not that hard as long as you've picked the right product the right niche branded your store in the right way designed your listing template in the best possible way pick the right store name then you're going to have a better chance than someone that's not doing all of these different things now of course it's going to take some effort to make sure that you've done things in the best possible way but it's all about getting over that learning curve and once you get over that learning curve you're going to realize that it's going to be a simple process with the stores that i'm currently running right now on ebay and the products that i'm selling because i've set my store up in a way that the listings look good and all i need to do is go in there and make some mild changes now and then I'm still able to get a monthly income from the listings that I created on eBay a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, because I designed them with a custom listing template in the best possible way. So go away and make sure that you try everything that I've taught you in this video. And I'm sure that you're going to be able to get better results than what you've been getting. But don't forget, the key is to make sure that you're picking a product that you're going to be able to sell for the long term. Try and pick a product and try and sell within a niche that the product is not necessarily trending and it's going to die. And you know that you're going to be able to sell that product for the foreseeable future. There's so many other tips that I'm going to give you when it comes to building your ebay business this year so make sure that you press the like button if you found any value in this video don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the bell notification and if you want to watch a recent video that i made where i broke down the five steps that you need to follow if you want to become rich with an ebay business this year then click right there you're definitely going to enjoy that video if you enjoyed this one all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace